Hey, this is Scott Weidenkivowitz, a storyteller with a camera, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how not to break an umbrella. Do not make the same mistake I made. Always weight down your light stands when you're outdoors. Let me tell you a story. I was asked to photograph a family on a Wednesday night, just around sunset, it was about 5 p.m., and it was 97 degrees outside. Coming up. Now normally, heat is not that big of a deal, especially when it's nice and breezy, it cools you down when it comes and you can go in the shade. And This had no wind. This day was so just dry and humid, but there was no breezes whatsoever. So I made a very common mistake. I made a mistake that I tell people to not do all the time. I set up my light stand, I attached my light, my umbrella, and I didn't weigh it down. I didn't weigh it down because it wasn't windy. It was no wind whatsoever. It was 97 degrees, hot, humid, sticky, but there was no wind. So I thought that the umbrella was actually Fine. I thought it would be okay. I thought that it was going to stay up and no problems because there was no wind. There was nothing to catch the umbrella and knock down my light stand. Now one of my Godox lights, one of the 8600 Pros was on the light stand, it had some weight, but now you're talking the light stand is top heavy. Plus I had an umbrella on it. Well, guess what? One gust of wind knocked over the light stand like it was nothing. One gust of wind. The funniest part about this is that it was the only gust of wind the entire session. The only gust of wind. The one gust of wind, and it took the umbrella for a ride. Umbrellas are not that expensive for the most part. So the money aspect is not the point. The point is my light could have been damaged. That's expensive. An umbrella can be replaced for very little bit. Now I want to show you what happened. Fortunately, the umbrella took the brunt of the impact, slowed down the flash from hitting the ground, and in fact the flash didn't even, the strobe rather, didn't even hit the ground because of the umbrella taking the impact and it giving it that cushion. Now as you can see, there's a piece of metal hanging off here. That's the rod that was inside of the flash, and it broke right there. Now I can't even open this because there's no way for me to keep it open. Basically what happened is the rod was in here and in the end, right all the way over here is where it snapped. So when I went to try to collapse it, well, first of all, it was bent. It was kind of looked like this a little bit. <laughs> so my point here is uh, don't underestimate the weather. If you're gonna be outside and you don't have an assistant there with you to hold your light stand in place, to hold your umbrella in place, to make sure that things are good and sturdy, then uh, bring some weights and weigh down that light stand. Now there is a product on the market that I've always wanted to try and I haven't tried it because I have so many weights and sandbags and water bags that I'm not gonna buy it, but basically it's called the Stand Daddy. And what it allows you to do is attach weights, literally like lifting weights, to the feet of your light stands by this cool Stand Daddy clamp. Hey, Stan Daddy, if you want to send me one, I'm happy to try it. I'm happy to review it on this channel. That's probably something I would recommend if I've actually had my hands on it. But until then, I'm just going to recommend some sandbags, some water bags, whatever you can afford. Try it. But make sure you weigh down your light stands because all you need is that one gust of wind and there goes everything. This has been a public service announcement from me to you.